Hello everybody, welcome once again to Holy Ground, where whenever two or more are gathered together in the name of Jesus, Jesus is there amongst them. And when you are in the presence of God, you find yourself upon Holy Ground. Okay, let's get back to business. Okay, everybody at this point seems to be quite familiar with the most popular verse in the Bible, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But it seems that that's as far as anybody ever reads in that third chapter of the Gospel of John. These are the immortal words of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it would behoove us to continue. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn it, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, which is the Son of God, is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds are, we, are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light, neither cometh into the light least his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. This is a very clear passage. People that think that they are being judged because of wickedness and because of evil and because of their disbelief in God and Jesus do not understand that they have already been condemned and that their only salvation is through Jesus Christ. That God loved you enough that he gave his only begotten son to give you that opportunity to come to the light. But you refuse to do so because you love darkness. You love your wickedness. You love your evil life. It can't be made any clearer. <laughs> this is Greg Monroe of Holy Ground Ministries saying... Repent from your wickedness and come into the light.